close, close curly bracket. Okay, so are there any mistake here on the slide? No mistake, but it will be good if the student S, you make it as a capital. Okay, that is a convention. It's not requirement, but that, that is a convention of Java. The class name should be, I mean the first alphabet of the class name should be capital. Okay, class student. Eh? Okay, now go to the next, next line. After class student. Okay, in order to make it, to make, uh, I mean, uh, to make it easy for you to write the code, okay, okay, I want you to just type in the name of the state in one line and the name of the operation. No need to worry about the details. Okay, so what, what, what are the name of the attributes? Name, space, space, just push, push a bit to the to the right. In indentation, eh? Uh, okay, student, name, comma, what else? Address, then, comma, metric, metric enough. Okay, comma, what else? Subject registered. Okay. <coughs> comma, and finally, number of subject. Eh? Just put number, subject enough. Subject, okay. And these are the states. Okay. Enter a few times. Enter twice. Okay, now just okay. Okay, what is the first operation? We have six, right? Okay, what is the first one? Register to subject, right? Okay, register to subject. To subject. Uh, T O just make it two, huh? T W uh, T O cancel two two the number two okay then new line after that register three subject three three subject okay after that enter register <coughs> zero zero subject right Zero subject, right? Mm, register zero subject. Enter. Okay, and then uh, what else? What else? Update address. Update address, yes. And then, fifth one? Uh, return status. Right, written status. Huh? Status here means registered or not registered. Okay? Uh, or just type status. And finally, display, right? Uh, just put display. How many attributes or how many things that you need to display that need to be displayed? Six or five? How many information that you need to display? Five, right? Five, but all that you can put in one display. You don't need to have five display to you know to dis to display separately. Okay, so how many you have? Six, huh? Okay, so before the register to subject, can you put the constructor? Yeah. Okay. Constructor. Constructor. C, uh, C O N S N S T R U C T O R T O R constructor. Okay. So now it has six plus one, yeah? or one plus six constructor, plus the six methods or operation that you have until five. Okay. So what is the next step? To implement all this, right? Because all these are not complete. Okay, so the first step, you need to implement the variable. You have five variable. Now you need to specify whether you want to use integer, double, or float. Okay, student name. Uh, delete student. Name is enough. Huh? Delete. Name. Okay, delete. Okay, name. What kind of data type that you want to use? String. String. Yes, string. Yeah. String, 
no, 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 no. Uh, before name, before name, string. Okay. Space. Okay. Address? Okay, so correct. Metric? No, no, no. Only once. Uh, only once because once you put comma, so it's, it's, it's understood the address also. String. Metric? Okay, metric can be integer, can be string. We, we assume it is a string. Okay? Okay, so metric, okay. Subject registered? String. But how many subjects you need to register? Three. Maximum three, right? So you, you delete subject regis, re, uh, registered. <coughs> you delete the whole thing. Uh, sorry, you put subject one. Uh, spelling mistake. Subject one. Uh, no space. Huh? Variable cannot have space. Comma. After that, after comma. Uh, subject two. Comma. Subject three. Okay, hold on. Eh? Okay, some of you might argue why subject one, subject two, subject three because sometimes the student might register two subject, sometimes three subject, sometimes zero subject. Doesn't matter. Maximum is three, right? So just put subject one, subject two, subject three. Okay, how about number of subject? String, integer, what? Number of subject: one subject, two subject, or three subject. It cannot be one and a half subject. It cannot two point three subject, right? So it is. Integer. So integer means new line. Enter. Uh, make it. Okay, here. Yeah. Int after t space. Just put an O. Subject. Okay, this one, uh, the one after subject 3, you delete. Yeah? Okay, can you detect any mistake in this in these two lines? No space. No space. No space. Okay, variable cannot have space. Eh? So this S in the subject you you push it to the left. Ah. Okay. S make it capital letter. S capital. Ah. Easy to read, right? Easy to read. Otherwise the whole thing looks like a one word. Okay? Okay, how about here? Comma, after subject 3, since this is the end of the statement, so in Java, same like in C, if you want to terminate, sorry, if you want to end a statement, you should have semicolon. Ah, okay. How about here? Ah, yes, correct. Correct, eh? Okay. Okay, don't worry about constructor. I will explain later. Now go to register two subject. Okay, register two subject. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, now I will explain you the how to write the header of the method. Eh? You know header of the function in C? What do you have? Public void the name of the method. Okay, put public. Okay, correct. No, no. Uh, same line with register to subject, eh? on the same line, before R. Okay, public, space, white, okay, space, register to subject, you make it in everything in one word, eh? okay, correct. S capital, correct, eh? correct, after T, you go to the, to the last alphabet here, T, uh, open bracket, close bracket, uh, open curly bracket, enter a few times, okay, stop, close curly bracket, push it to the right, eh? the curly bracket. Okay. Of course, you can also put here, but it's difficult for you to read the program. Eh? You must have indentation in your program. Okay, so this is public void register to subject. This is the structure of the method here. So what you need to write here inside the method, register to subject. What, hap what happens here in public void uh, register to subject? What happens here? Register to subject, right? Two subject will be assigned a value. Okay, now, 
So from where we will get the information? For example, the first subject is uh, history. Second subject is science. Where you will get the information? Or the first subject could be Java programming. Second subject is MIS. Where you will get the information? From the, from the, yeah, subject one is the variable which you're going to hold the information of the subject. Okay, so subject one can be could be history. Subject two could be science. But from where you you will get the information that this is history, this is science, history and science. Where you will get the information from the parameter, you know, parameter. Okay. I will explain in detail about parameter later. Okay, just go to the bracket here after register two subject. Okay, here. Okay, okay this one I explain. Eh? Okay, just type string S capital string space. Just put S1, comma, string, again string, uh, S capital. Eh? S, okay, space, S2. Okay, now you go to the body of this method. Okay, so go to the, the middle. Huh? Here, here. Mm. Okay, correct. <coughs> okay, uh, type... Uh, Okay, type uh, subject one equals to no, S small letter. Subject one equals to what? Any answer? S1. Yes, S one. One, okay. Semicolon. Enter. Subject 2 equals to S2. S2. Okay, so now it's complete. Eh? So this is the first state subject 1. This is attribute subject 2. Eh? So the name of subject 1 is being kept in S1. The name of subject 2 is being kept in S2. S1 can be history, can be science, can be anything. S2 can be also anything, it can be math, can be statistics, can be anything. Okay? But the information is being kept here, inside S1 and S2. So when the user runs this program, when they call this method or this operations, register two subject, during the runtime, they will input the information, whether it is history, whether it is chemistry or whatever subject. Okay? Later I will explain eh, how the information can be passed to parameter. Because Okay, let's say, let's say subject one is Java programming, subject two is C programming. Okay, so when you, run, you run, when you run the program, you cannot directly assign Java programming to subject one, you cannot directly assign C programming to subject two, cannot. In Java, cannot, you cannot, I mean, user cannot directly deal with attributes. Okay, it should be done through an intermediate. That intermediate is parameter means the user when they run the program they will assign java to s1 they will assign c to s2 which later will be assigned back to subject one subject two you need to have a parameter this is like a security yeah? when, when the user run the program the information will pass to intermediate person and that intermediate person will pass it to the attributes you cannot pass it directly to the attributes so that's why you have attributes. So the S1 can be anything. It depends the information given by the user when they run the program. Okay? I will show you later how you can run the program and how you can assign the, the name of the subject to the parameter. Okay, so we have done with register two subject. Now I want you to implement register three subject. Basically the same thing, but you need to add subject three equals to S3. Okay, I'll give you uh, three or four minutes for you to try. Yeah? Okay, everyone need to try. The answer is there already. Just copy paste, but add another one for subject three. Okay. 